I'm Randy McDonald from Find Power Tool. I've been with Find for over 30 years, and one of my favorite applications has always been metal finishing, or any type of finishing, as a matter of fact. I've received training and worked with a lot of different companies in Europe, and with covering all of Canada over the years, the one thing that is a constant all across the country and that everybody agrees upon is nothing because everybody has their own tools, they have their own abrasives, they have their own techniques, and at the end of the day, as long as you're producing the finish that the customer requires, that's perfectly fine. What we'd like to do today is to show you some of my tips and hints that, uh, that I have, which I call my preference. We have a, an end user that has stainless steel panels and they have some self-inflicted scratches on them. And they would like us to remove the scratches and to blend it back to the existing number four finish. One of the things that I recommend is that your number four stainless always comes with a tape on it, a protective tape. You can still get scratches through this tape, but only remove as much tape as the area that you're working in. Try to protect the stainless as much as possible so that you don't get further scratches. When I see a scratch on the stainless steel, and, and I always inspect the sheet, the first thing that I like to do, it's in, in a little trick that, that, that I've learned, is just run my fingernail over top of the scratch just to basically see how high the ridge is. And that tells me basically you know, roughly where I should start, what grit that I should start at in order to start removing the scratch and then blending it back in. The tool I'm going to be using today is the Fine WPO 14-25E. This is my tool of choice for a number of reasons. The tool provides absolute constant speed and constant torque. And this is what you really require when you have a consistent finish or you want a consistent finish and you always want to have that consistent finish because that way it looks perfect. One of the features of this tool is that it has a 1200 watt motor. It's incredibly powerful. And also when I take off the handle, you'll see in this area right here, it has a set of planetary gears. And that's really what gives you the constant speed and the constant torque. It doesn't really matter how hard you press down in this tool. It's always going to keep its speed. The spindle system that we have, so it has a 5811 thread on the spindle. So you can take this spindle off and what it allows you to do is to use all the various different fine finishing products that we have in our program because we have one of the most extensive ranges of finishing products. And we have some of the finishing products that are also unique to find that you won't find anywhere else in the marketplace. Customers have wanted to use our wheels but they already have an existing polisher. So you can buy one of our spindles and put it on your polishing tool as long as it has, again, variable speed and you have the correct speed range for the abrasive that you're going to be using. My wheel of preference for removing scratches, again, as long as it's not too deep a scratch, is a mix wheel. So you have your abrasive flap and you have your fleece. We have these mix wheels that go anywhere from 60 grit right up to 180 grit. And this is my wheel of choice because with light scratches, it will remove the scratch, but at the same time, it has a blending effect. So it, it's softer. It doesn't give you those deep grind lines and, and it blends the scratch in much better than uh, an abrasive sleeve would. It's also a little forgiving because it, it is a, a little bit softer. So it does give you that soft grain effect but at the same time, we'll remove a scratch. After that, we have a very unique wheel here. This is our, our fine, what we call our wave wheel or a sinus type wheel. It has basically a sinusoidal wave curve to the wheel and you can see the effect here. It's double folded, unlike a regular fleece wheel where you have a single line of fleece. This is double folded. It's more durable. It's going to last longer and the biggest thing, uh, what people love about this wheel is that because of this wave design and the edge, you do not get any parting lines. This wheel also has a sharp edge. So both sides are sharp. And when you're finishing on the sheet and then you move over, you can get parting lines on your sheet. Whereas with our wave sinus type wheel, because of the design of the wheel and the shape, the scallop shape on the wheel, you don't get any parting lines with this wheel. After feeling the scratch, I've determined that it's approximately about a, about a medium uh, scratch. Because of that, I'm gonna start with our mix wheel. So then I'm going to attempt to grind out the scratch and then also the fleece is going to blend it in. 
So I'll, I start with speed setting number four, never at speed setting number six. I want to start at speed setting number four and then I'll try to remove the scratch and then I go back and I look at the scratch and if the scratch is still there, I'll still leave it at speed setting number four, but I'll exert a little bit more pressure. Now, and then after that, I inspect the scratch again. If the scratch is still there, then I will go to speed setting number six. And basically, like starting at the beginning, only just basically the weight of the tool, a little bit of pressure, and I'll go over the scratch, and then again inspect it. If the scratch is still there, then I'll leave it at speed setting number six, and then do a little bit more pressure, and then inspect again. And by that time, this scratch should be gone. So normally, I would not go this wide across the sheet because the scratch was over here towards the edge but we want to show you how we can remove the parting line that you see here with the fine wave sinus type wheel because of the wave edges on the tool. We're going to start off with our red wave sinus type wheel, which is a 120 grit wheel to try and match up with the existing number four stainless steel finish. Here we have a piece of 2B stainless steel and we'd like to show three different ways of how to obtain a number four finish. There are variations in number four finishing depending on the manufacturer that you buy it from or the grit that they finish their sheet to. What I found in the industry is I can take our fine polishing tool and our most popular wheel is our blue gum wheel which is uh, called a 180 grain wheel and I can go into a shop and produce a number four finish using this blue gum wheel and our fine tool and the gentleman will look at it and he goes that is absolutely perfect. I can go down the road to his biggest competitor who is doing the exact same thing, use the same tool, the same wheel, and he will say, that's not the number four finish that I'm looking for. So it can be a subjective opinion and it can be a change in the, uh, the product from the manufacturer. But what we're able to do on a piece of 2B stainless steel that has relatively no scratches, we can produce a number four finish with one wheel. Now this wheel, I like to run at about a thousand RPM. You can run it at a higher RPM if you want. You can run it at the max at 2,500. But it's been my experience and my preference that I run this at about a thousand RPM. So now we're using another gum wheel. This one again is a 180 grain from a different manufacturer that we're using and this one has a finer grain finish. So again, if you've got stainless sheet with a finer grain finish, you can utilize this wheel, which is again a fine gum wheel 180 grain. So now we're using our fine wave sinus type wheel. Um, again, we talked before about uh, perfect for blending applications, but it's also good for producing a, a number four finish as well. Here we have our three different ways of producing a number four finish that should satisfy just about any of your customers' needs. So we have our blue gum wheel, our gray green gum wheel, and then we have our fine wave sinus wheel, 180 to 240 grit medium. After watching the videos that uh, we presented, hopefully you've picked up a few little tips and little hints along the way. Uh, we've been able to help you out. And if at any time anybody's interested in a demonstration of any of our fine products, please give us a call. We'd be happy to come out to your shop and do any kind of demonstrations and training. And hopefully everybody will shine on.